Hi, fellow travelers, and it's me, your travel angel. In this video, we're gonna go on a road trip to Solvang, California. Allow me to give you tips on how to explore Solvang. Let's find out things to do, eat, and see in Solvang, California. This is your Solvang, California travel guide. All right, let's go. Welcome back to Angel's Video Diary. And Solvang is a perfect destination for a day trip or a weekend getaway with plenty of things to do and see. Solvang is a Danish themed town located in Santa Ines Valley. It is famous for its wineries, Danish cuisine, and historic architecture. Now, travel tip number one is you should explore the town. Experience Danish style architecture by exploring the town. And by the way, Solvang is a walkable city, so you'll be able to see most of the sites for only a few hours and I also recommend that you leave early like around 7 or 8 in the morning because traffic in LA is horrific I mean no matter what day it is it doesn't matter if it's a weekend or a weekday traffic is still gonna be pretty bad and you can stop by the visitor center if you need information or you can ask the visitor center staff or guide if you have any questions you want to learn about solving there's a video that you can watch inside and there's also some magazines by the entrance and prepare to have a little bit of entertainment as well And then you can also experience Solvang by riding the trolley. The ride takes about 25 minutes and for $16 per adult, you'll be able to learn a lot about Solvang and its history. I'd just like to remind you to please stay seated throughout the duration of our tour. And of course, don't forget to check out the windmills around town. And one of the famous and recognizable landmark here is the Solvang Windmill, which is the largest windmill and the most photographed windmill here in Solvang. Another one is the Hans Christian Andersen Windmill, which is located just behind or on the roof of the Hans Christian Andersen Museum. There's another windmill located in Adderdag Square. And you know, there are more windmills that you can check out, so make sure to keep your eyes on those. And I also recommend that you try some traditional Danish cuisine. You can try some Abel Skivers, which is a famous Danish snack or dessert. So you can actually check out the one at Red Viking Restaurant or maybe the Danish Mill Bakery. And they're actually right next to each other, so it's going to be easy to find both places. Abel Skivers are traditional Danish pastry that has the same texture as a donut. It is typically served with powdered sugar and syrup or jam. And for some traditional Danish pastries, you can check out the Martinsen's Danish Bakery. They also serve refreshments and coffee here, either hot or cold. And Martinsen's Danish Bakery is still owned by its original owners for over 40 years now. One of the famous places that you can check out here is the Copenhagen Sausage Garden. They offer beer and sausages, and it seems like the place is always packed no matter what time you eat here. And my favorite is the Bratwurst. It has a smoky flavor with a hint of garlic and herbs, and it is so good. FYI, a lot of the shops, restaurants, or businesses close early in Solvang. So if you're only doing a day trip here, make sure you arrive early if you want to see and maybe do more things here in Solvang. You should also visit a winery and taste local wines. Also, visiting a winery gives visitors the opportunity to take in all the beautiful scenery and enjoy the peaceful surroundings of the Santa Ines Valley. Many wineries offer wine tasting here, while some you need a restaurant reservation while others offer walk-ins and we actually visited Rideau Vineyard and we tried a flight of their wines. Each flight costs $25. We actually got two so we paid $50 for both and it's like going to Napa Valley but you're only driving about two hours from LA. Now, if you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post new content. And then you should also stop by Ostrichland USA, which is a unique attraction in Solvang, California that offers visitors to see ostriches and emus up close. Now, make sure to check out my Ostrichland USA vlog. And in the video, I shared and helped you prepare for your visit to Ostrichland.
And I also recommend that you visit several museums here in Salvang. And most of the museums in Salvang are free and we'll check out some of them today. So first, we're checking out the Hans Christian Andersen Museum. And admission to the museum is free. It is open every day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And visiting the Hans Christian Andersen Museum is a great way to learn about the life and work of one of the world's most famous authors. And that's Hans Christian Andersen, who wrote The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling, Thumbelina, and more. So be sure to check out their website to plan your visit here. Next is the Elvaroy Museum of History and Art, and the museum features features, exhibits, arts, and artifacts focusing on the history and Danish culture of Salvang. The museum is open every Thursday to Monday only from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's no charge for admission, but donations are highly accepted and free street parking is available around the area. And now for some rare and vintage motorcycles, I also recommend that you stop by the Salvang Vintage Motorcycle Museum. The museum is only open on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is $10 per adult and take note, they only accept cash. So be sure to bring cash with you. And because we had limited time, well, we decided not to go inside. And then I recommend that you visit the Old Mission Santa Ines, which is one of the 21 historic Spanish missions in California. Mission churches were built in the late 18th and early 19th centuries as part of Spain's effort to Christianize California. And so far, we visited three missions. So so the other two are Mission Basilica San Diego de Alcala in San Diego, California and Mission San Juan Capistrano in San Juan Capistrano, California. Old Mission Santa Ines continues to be an active Catholic church, so you should definitely attend a mass here if you can. Or you can go inside the chapel to meditate and pray. And you should also stop by the Solvang Festival Theater, which is Solvang's outdoor theater. They have shows and events here, and you could even rent the theater for special events or occasions. And I also recommend that you stop by for unique gifts or souvenirs. There are plenty of places where you can buy gift or souvenir items in Solvang, so don't forget to stop by to one of them. I also recommend that you swing by the Little Mermaid Fountain, which is a replica of the popular statue in Copenhagen, Denmark. This bronze statue honors the famous fairy tale by Hans Christian Andersen. Make sure to snap some photos at the Solvang sign, which is a great spot to get your souvenir photo here in Solvang. Well, I hope I was able to inspire you to visit Solvang, California, if you got value off this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post new content. If you have any more tips or tricks or maybe you have questions, let me know and add them in the comment box below. And you can show some love by hitting the like and share button. Well, you can stay current on my travels, follow me on social media, that's at Angel's Video Diary. And subscribe to my blog, mypurplepages.com. And my TikTok as well is at I am Angel Alvero. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.